four for four week four. yeah four horsemen nfl week four coming up on the slate week three wasn't that good for us man we every time we come up here yeah. we're talking good news <clears throat> good news so let's see what the other side of that looks like for those who are watching man if you're just checking in make sure you hit that like subscribe button if you just don't you just want to see what this is it's about man if you're new to the channel i'll let you know you know what time it is Showtime. We don't Welcome everybody back to another episode of Money Pot Betting and Money Pot Money Podcast. Pot. I'm the host, I'm the CEO, I'm the president. They call me Moss Money. Of course, I got my guy with me. They call him Diddy. What's up, boy? We back, man. We back again. Week four again ahead of us. Yeah, another round. No, what they say. Another. I can't even think of the saying. I'm just so fucked up because I was just laughing about what we were talking about. Another <laughs> day, another dollar. Another day, another dollar. Another another. Uh, what's what's the shit they say when you say you get up another round and round the sun? Or whatever it's called. I might yeah, have like to edit birthday? that whole part out because I fucked up. Yeah. Who it's knows? Like a birthday joint. <laughs> yeah, it's a birthday, John. I'm sorry. <laughs> we here though. We here, man. We here though. Week, week three wasn't too good, but we moving forward. Nah, man. Moving yeah, forward. as for as always, move forward. But I think it's a good thing because we've been so hot, especially with college. So if you haven't checked out the nah, college fuck product, that. I ain't like last week. I ain't like that. You ain't like last week? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It was a little bad mojo right there Fucking last Cowboys, week. Cowboys, bro. Come on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Everybody, everybody got bit on the Cowboys. Man. Everybody got bit. Yeah, but that's what they do, though. Every year, it's our year. We talk about this, talk about that every year. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got caught up in the sauce. But you know what, though? Is Arizona better than what we think they are? No, no. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> no. no, I mean, they they let, I mean, day. they let New York come back. They should be two and one. They did they, like they that doesn't happen. That they were better that day. Okay. Okay. I'm not saying Arizona's good. I just said are they better than what we thought? Because my head was they're they the they worst team. The they, they shouldn't even win a game. We thought that. I think on a roster wise, we thought that. But Dobbs actually can move the ball. He can move with his feet. He can move. He's pretty accurate with the football, throwing the ball down the field. You know, they got some receivers out there, and you got a running back that can run the football. I mean, so yeah. I mean, I guess yeah. they're more middle of the pack than being a tank team that we thought they were doing. So, right. So, yes. Right, right. Answer your question. Yeah. yeah. It's funny, though. Dobbs went to go get his jersey. He couldn't find his jersey. He didn't find his jersey. It's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy. Not even, uh, let's custom, John. That wasn't even at the store. He tried to go to the custom <laughs> machine. Like, they wasn't even there. It's crazy. Can't get his uh, mama's jersey. Yeah, uh, what's homeboy named Charlie uh, Villamueva or whatever his name was? Yeah, they, I ain't yeah, gonna start like, with just, that. Just look, look. <laughs> but they got them Cowboys out of there, man. We was the only time, only only uh, NFC East team to get a win this week. So salute to yeah. the Eagles. For sure, had to throw the hat on. So I want to bring up the recap of Week Three. Uh, I tell you what, Thursday nights I've been killing all my greens. <laughs> all Thursday night games, mm. right? Except for a couple in here, but the um, the beginning, Montgomery, um, KC, Mahomes, Thursday night, Cousins, Thursday night against the Eagles. And then last week, uh, San Fran, um, I forget who they played, but uh, Thursday night too. So I went two or three against the number. My two bets that hit were Thursday night games at CMC over 77, half, 77 and a half rushing, Nick Bosa with a sack. Um, and then just missed on everything else. Missed on the Rams. Missed on Atlanta. Missed on that uh, Robinson bet. Uh, Bijan um, Robinson uh, total ninety nine uh, and a half rush um, and receiving. That is such a weird way that he didn't get there. But a loss is a loss, so I won't cry about it. Um, and then did he? I only had written down the two teasers that you had. I'm so not sure if you have more plays. Yeah, okay, that's that's what I thought. Yep. So um, this is unusual for you. Got to get you on the board here. No wins yet. Um, I don't know what this straight play is here. I think I just had that. I don't think you had a bet last week. I'm, I got to double check, make sure that. But I know last week the two teasers you had 
um, Dallas and Miami? Because you weren't, oh, were you nice. aren't on the show the last week or was it two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. So I had a uh, straight play. I had um, New England minus two and a half. Okay. Did that hit? Was that versus the Jets, lost, right? Bro. They were playing the yeah, Jets. Think- no, they didn't lose. No, they, they beat the Jets. Yeah. yeah, they beat the Jets. I had New England minus two and a half for a straight play. Then I had them two teasers. Okay. So I you just I had was, the one play last week. I think I was looking at Dallas minus 11 and a half and Tennessee minus plus, plus three, which both of those lost. But I can't remember which one. I got to look back at the tape. Yeah, I got to look back at the tape. I'll get it. All right, well, you on the board then, bro. But the, the main ones was those teasers that I lost, so. Yeah, those these two teasers, right? You double dipped with Dallas and um, mixed it with Miami and Tennessee. So right now, NFL uh, not looking too good for us. Um, I got I'll get sharp numbers up there as well. I don't um, looking back. Sharp didn't have the best week either. Had a lot of props, um, but I don't. I'm not sure where he was. And then I think I got to update his numbers because some of his numbers are a little bit skewed. So um, we'll get back to sharp. <clears throat> Sharp when Sharp returns next week. But um, just between me and you, um, not doing too good. I mean, 60% is good on the number, but I feel like I got more losses. You know, um, these are the bets I give out on the show. But, you know, every once in a while, you kind of play with some teasers, some parlays in there, stuff where you kind of go kind of out of out of the pocket of what you're giving out a little bit to adding a little bit more value where you see it. Um, and it just didn't work out for me. Um, so um yeah i mean that's really pretty much it so we'll clean this slate out of here uh week three is over on to week four now i was looking at this week man and it's some weird lines up here that um i was trying to navigate through not a lot of props up just yet Mm -hmm. uh the one prop i do want to talk about though that I, i am looking at and maybe i'll bring up um I should probably bring up FanDuel because FanDuel does a lot better with props than DraftKings do. But uh, I'm waiting for Gibbs's rushing total to drop. Um, Montgomery, it looks like for Thursday night football, keep the streak alive, right? 100% on Thursday night football. But um, I believe that Montgomery is trying to wake his, work his way back. But I kind of like what Gibbs gave them last week um, with – a uh i think he had like 15 or 17 almost carries for like 80 yards surprised me a little bit with how much workload he did from um behind center uh behind the quarterback there uh as in terms of running the ball so i believe by just pure volume that i like his number here if it's around like that 50 something um spot or like even less than 60 i think that's enough for me to 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 take a stab here on the bet but other than that, for Thursday night football, I would lean Detroit, but I have no really side on this one. I don't really get it. I don't have a feel for this one. Short week, players are hurt. I don't, I'm don't. i not really sure. Yeah, the, I mean, the way I got it laced out on this week, um, I do have Green Bay later on that I'll share for like a, a little underdog parlay. Oh, value okay, pack, nice. I call it like a little value pack for gamblers that want to gamble and hopefully hit maybe a possible round robin. But as far as player props, I do like in this game Jordan Love passing yards over. I think if that's mm. set low enough, I think he'll be able to hit over that. I think he's hit over on over on all his passing yards this year so far. So I want to see what that is. We can yeah. um, once that's released. I, that's a that's a play for me. I think I two twenty eight. Yeah, I like over two twenty eight. I think this is a this is a game he's going to have majority of his, uh, his weapons back. I think Dobbs is back. Think Jones is back, um, so you'd be able to have that, that that little flare out the backfield. You have his number one target back. Um, I think Watson's going to play more. too. Yeah, so I think you're going to have his full arsenal out here. Mm-hmm. And I also think this is a game that's going to lead uh, to to a high scoring game here. Obviously, oh, you do. You know, okay. Detroit likes to play pretty fast. Um, and they're inside. It's going to be in a dome. I mean, they're going to be in at Green Bay. I'm sorry. They're going to be yeah. at Green Bay. So this is a big, big game for them. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I like that's the only player prop I have in this game would be Jordan Love over. Okay, nice. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, this is a big game for two who can take 
of uh kind of a little Huge. bit of uh leaders not leadership but lead in the um nfc north leadership. division here yeah, yeah so it's, it is a big game uh the prop isn't up for gibbs yet and i'm going to assume it's not up just because they're still waiting for montgomery to see if he's going to play or not i know he practiced today um so um we'll we'll just kind of see we'll just kind of wait and see so Wait for the sh uh, the shorts to drop or anything like that. If I got something for Thursday night football, but for now, um, that would be my only play. Would be Gibbs over his his rushing, regardless of Montgomery plays or not. I think it'll drop around forty to fifty if he if Montgomery is playing and probably be around like forty five, maybe even low for like thirty nine and a half. But if he isn't playing, I can see that ballooning up to like forty nine. So keep shopping around, see if you can get the number. If you can, if not, um, we're just gonna have to wait and see. All right. So going down a slate here for Sunday football, love the action here, as always. It's always good when the Eagles play, right? It's always good when the Eagles play. So let's talk about it. Let's, I don't have, unless you have something on the Atlanta Jags game, my bad, on that London game. I stay away from those games. Yeah, um, this is a 9.30 a.m. game on the Eastern yeah, Time. Yeah, it's a Monday game, yeah. Um, so for me, like I said, I do have them in a, uh, underdog, uh, parlay that I'll talk about later on. <clears throat> oh, okay. All right. Yeah. But that's about it as I'm looking down my car. Yep. All right. Oh, I, matter of fact, I do have <clears throat> them in a teaser with the total. So I do have them in a three team teaser, uh, total, which is a 10 point teaser. It's the under 53. Their line is at 43. So I'm going to go under 53 with a 10 point. So I'm going to take it up to, to 53 and go under that. I think okay. this is a game, like you said, they're traveling across the, the pond. Um, Atlanta is more of a run offense, run style offense. They're going to rely heavy on uh, the rookie there in the backfield. Um, and I just think defensively they'll be able to kind of get some stops on Jacksonville. I think this game won't be a high scoring game. Yeah, Jacksonville is not doing what people are expecting them to do. I mean, a yeah. lot of people had Jacksonville going to the Super Bowl, and um, they don't look like it. And like I said before, I, I've always said this before um, multiple times, like I don't know what's special about Lawrence as of yet, and he's looking like that case. I'm not saying he's not going to be good or anything like that. Could be just a bad year or whatever, but um, I never saw what a lot of other people saw in him. And I mean, the numbers say you only have 736 yards, three touchdowns and two picks across four games, which is insane. So um, they're one and two. They need this in a bad way. Um, they need a win um, bad. So I expect an all out effort here from the Jags, um, especially against Atlanta team that dropped a dud last week. That shit was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so, all right, let's talk about <clears throat> let's talk about them. You're three and oh, damn, man. <laughs> Imagine, just imagine being a fan of an NFL team in 2023 and they're not 3-0. Just imagine being such... Philadelphia Eagles take on the Washington Commanders. Eagles are favorite minus 8.5. Total is 43.5. Money line is minus 380 versus the 300. Good old-fashioned NFC East divisional game. I don't have a play on here. The line is very telling to me. A minus eight and a half. Um, the commander's defensive line is pretty stout. I think they're up there in the top tier in terms of leading in sacks. Um, Young has been quiet, but has been playing. The one thing that I think could disrupt this game is that defensive line because every game Hurts is taking hits. Like he's you know, like I know he's getting up and everything, but every single game he's getting hit. His his you know usually he gets dirty because he runs, but he's getting dirty because he's getting uh, hit, and he took some big shots at Tampa. So sooner or later those will catch up. Um, you can only take so many shots. It don't matter if you squat six hundred or not. Um, and you change your diet up or whatever. You you know sooner or later it, it will take a toll. I think the line is probably right. I think the way our defense played out last week against, uh, well, this past uh, Sunday, Monday night football um, shows how good this defensive line is. And there's nothing on the commanders that are kind of scary. I thought, you know, 
how was supposed to be this next guy. Like, oh, we wish we'd have started him back in the day, but he's not looking like it to me, at least in terms of leading um, the commanders. They are two and one, though. Um, and they have wins over the Cardinals and the Broncos, which ain't saying much. And then they got bombed on at home um, by the Bills, 37 to three last week. So I expect another. Uh, you know, kind of ass whooping like that, but just not in that fashion when it's 37 to three, because our offense had a little bit of spark last week, but not what we're all expecting to see what this offense is supposed to look like. So I was looking here at some props right now. I mean, until this number gets up to 70, I think this is getting close to almost an auto bet with DeAndre Swift. Um, He's averaging almost 100 yards a game here. And they find they gro- their groove when they run the ball. Or you say we say it in our chats, we say it on the phone, we say it, you know when we text each other, run the ball. And they're finally learning that that is the key to their success and getting back to when Nick Sirianni kind of figured out that what this offensive line does well, and that's run the ball. And what do you want to do? Do you want to get in pass pro? and let that defensive line on the other side tee off, or you want to, you know, do the initial blow and send a message real quick that, yeah, we're here to fight with you too. So right now, as of right now, a bet for me here, uh, my first best bet is DeAndre Swift over 63 and a half yards. No, I like that. I think if we continue what we're doing, running the football, I think you should hit that, like you said, until it gets over that 70 mark. I know they tried to get Kenny Gainwell in there a few times, but that was more late in the game. Um, and then Richard Penny, I just feel bad for him. Like I said, I feel like he's going to be asking for a trade by midseason if he's not going to get no time. I think we should be working him in here, especially if we're going to be so run heavy. Now, to what you're saying, I love what I saw last week because this is the identity that I want to have for mm-hmm. my Philadelphia Eagles. I don't want Jalen Hurst to have to drop back 35 to 50 times a game. I don't think that's successful. I'm not saying he can't do it, but I think our team is led, like you said, up front with our D-line and O-line. And every old lineman knows they rather run block than pass block. For sure. So we're able to run the football with – we got three-headed monsters back there, four, including Jalen Hurts. It's it, We're very hard to stop. And for me, mm-hmm. I'm old school. You got to run to win. All right? You got to run the football to win. Is is not many teams that haven't won championships that could not run the football. You can, you can grant – your Kansas City Chiefs a few years back when they didn't have a run game. But even last year, they had Pacheco, who was running his ass off for them last season. So for this game in particular, I like the rhythm we're getting. We're going to carry this back into home. And you know how the Philadelphia fans are, man. We are diehard Philadelphia fans, especially our Eagle fans. Our Phillies this week just clinched the playoff berth. So we'll be getting ready for Tuesday's action for the Phillies to play in the playoffs. So it's going to be a lot of excitement in the city of Philadelphia and for Washington to have to come in here after they just got Molly Watt by Buffalo. I think it's going to be a very similar situation here coming into to Philadelphia. Now, historically, we pretty much play tight games with Washington. Yeah, we I just don't think this D line, um, I mean, their offensive line is going to be able to hold up enough with our defensive line that's going to be really in attack mode. I'm not going to wood it so that we can stay as healthy as possible because, man, it is a sight to see. Not that last year we got a lot of sacks and we were attacking the quarterback on a sack, but this is just great to see that nobody can run the football on us, and that's really awesome. Washington was the team that broke the code last year. Let's not forget, we got a little bitter taste in our mouth from last year when we Good played call. Washington and we were undefeated, and they smacked us right in the mouth by doing what? Running the football. They ran a football down our throat. So what we did this year was stack up on that D line. So if they're gonna come with that same game plan to run the football, they're gonna have a they're gonna have a long day. So I do like the uh Philadelphia Eagles here. I gotta lean on them covering the spread yeah, at minus eight. Might cover. But I have them it's not too many games I got this week. Majority of them are all the same game. They're gonna be in teaser plays. I have Philadelphia Eagles on all majority of my all teaser teasers. plays. Yeah. Right, we're going to get them down to a win or even on a plus side, my four-team teaser. But the, yep. what I do like Agreed. here against the Washington um, football team is the team total over. Philadelphia has been putting points on the board. Let's look at a team they total have. over 
and Washington been twenty six and a half, and Washington been giving it up. So that's something I would do like a half unit on, just because twenty six and a half is a little high in an NFL game. But I I thought it'd be more like 24, 24 and a half. But I'll do like a half unit on a, a team total over, maybe first half team total over two. That's got to be what thirteen and a half maybe. Yeah, the first half is. Do they have a half up? No, they don't have a half up. Okay. Yeah, just because it's so early. And uh, actually, uh, I don't think it would be in half. Yeah, well, yeah, 21 and a half. 21 and um, a half for the first half? For the first half, yeah. 21 and a half team total? Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant total, like total first half. No, no, no. Team total. Team total. So team total. No, nah, they don't have the first half. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so I would look at first half team total. I, w- I would look at the totals here. Washington has been giving up the goods all season so far first three games i think the eagles have been putting up points on a on a on a, on a uh, scoreboard so yeah i'll be looking at team total and then i'll be having the philadelphia eagles and some of these teasers i'll be discussing later on, on the show there's a couple here stuff from uh our philly fans and our eagles fans to sprinkle on here eagles to win both halves plus 130 i think that's a solid bet yeah um you know i think that's a pretty solid bet and then this one too is really interesting the Eagles to win with a shutout. No. The only reason why I say that, I'm looking back at this Washington team. It's not I'm, looking at the, I'm looking at the teams that they played, the Cardinals, the Broncos, and the Bills. And I was just looking at how uh, Sam Howell's uh, numbers here across the board here. Yo, he's been sacked 20 times in three games. And then he has this defensive line. Coming in, that they're going to be able to run the ball, and now we're going to get off on on sacks. Like this defensive line is licking their chops right now, knowing that this beat up and just poor piss Washington offensive line is coming down. They just gave up nine sacks to the Bills. Like I'm looking for these props because I'm telling you right now, people people missed the wave. I said. Carter to get his first sack, game one, plus yeah, 600. Yeah. This week, Carter will be getting a sack. Sweat will be getting a sack. I can't wait for those numbers to drop and those props to back drop because I will be all on them. Um, I like the team total here also under 16 and a half. I hate that it's not 17 and a half because, you know, everybody would be on it. So the books are lines really are sharp. sharp here. Lines are sharp today. Line, yeah, lines are sharp. But no way the commanders put up 17 points, though, bro. I don't see it because that tells me Sam Howe's got a pass to do it because it ain't like they're going to be running the ball on us. Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't think they're going to be successfully running the ball, but I know that I think they're going to try to stick to that game plan because they're going to try to keep Jalen Hurts off the field. That was what the game plan was last year. I yeah. think they feel like if they can keep the game within reach. They may have an opportunity. So you can also look at the under here maybe. Um but I think it's going to be lopsided. lopsided. Yeah, I, I think so too, man. I, I really do. I'm starting to kind of – The 16 and a half is sucky because it's not – that's your, your point below that line that, you know. Yeah, and the, he only had one big game, and that was against Denver. Like, it was against Denver, though. Denver just got 70 put on them. But if they you came look at the back Buffalo, that game, right? That was the game they came back. They were down. Yeah. Denver had them, like, Denver Buff- was up like 20-something points. Yeah, Buffalo, he only passed – like, look at his numbers. Against Arizona, they won 2016. He put up 202 yards. He had a pick, got sacked six times. And then we got the Denver game. And I just kind of passed because it's Denver. It's, it was at Denver, which is crazy, but it's still Denver from what we can tell. And then they just got smoked by Buffalo. He passed for 170 yards through four picks and had nine sacks. And, it, like, he's got legs. But he's only got one or two carries in each game, so he's not even using them. Man, I'm gonna have to dig a little bit more, man. Yeah, maybe the, the last time the Eagles interception prop start. might be there, right there too, and the player prop. Yeah, uh, for sure. For interception prop. That's what I'm saying. Like a Probably turnover. Juice, that might be like minus one eighty, one seventy. Yeah, minus two ten. Look at that. It's minus two ten. Two ten. Yeah, geez. Well, maybe yeah, you can go it's... over two two turnovers for him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I would have to search for that. But I'm like him under everything. You know what I mean? Like under yeah, like, props. Like look at his passing. Look at his touchdowns. Under one and a, one and a half. 
touchdowns is minus 245. Yeah. So if he's not throwing for more than two scores. That's what I'm saying. I think they're going to stick to the run. They're going to try to run the football on us. They're not going to be able to do it. But I think that's the only way wow. they, can, they can keep this game. You know what? Reason. Give it. I, I'm doing it. I'm doing it straight. Give me the birds, man. Minus eight and a half. Lock it up. Give me the birds. Actually, no, you know what? Yeah, I'll leave it like this. I won't even get funky with it. I just, I'm, I'm looking at this man, and it's just like, I think this is gonna be another Buffalo game. Like you, you, you have to put us up there with Buffalo, if not more. Yeah. Like first of all, you got to put us ahead of Buffalo. Buffalo lost to the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. Buffalo lost to the Jets. So we're in. We're you're talking about a top three team. Miami, San Fran, us. Don't overthink That's the it. Three. You, you, pl- you plugged it in. Don't you, you did your research. You did your capping. You don't even overthink it. Yeah, we're good. It's still a divisional game. That's why you got to think about it. It's a divisional yeah, game. That's, but no, that's the, the only thing, in. but it's Eagles been a while since ready we to get play. In the it's, it's to get back for the Eagles because they fucked they, 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 uh perfect oh, undefeated season up until that moment. Yeah, March. I know, right? We were close, too. We're like 8-0. <clears> yep. All right. Next game. Um, I actually do have something on this Miami uh Buffalo game. I want to be somewhat wary. First, the line is a little bit weird to me. Um, because Buffalo is minus two and a half. They do, like I said, they did lose to the Jets, even though they had a great showing last game, but nobody had a better showing than the Miami Dolphins. Mm-hmm. And this line is at minus two and a half. I know it's in Buffalo. It ain't cold yet in Buffalo. Totals on 54. This should be a track meet. I believe all fantasy. You know, you can look at all fantasy, DraftKings, everything fantasy is going to be milk in this game because it's going to be a lot of scoring, a lot of overs, a lot of touchdowns. The one uh, side I did have here um, is that I think there's going to be a lot of scoring in the first quarter. Both teams have scored at least a touchdown in all games. The only person who didn't score a touchdown was the Bills. I think they only scored three against the Jets in the first quarter. But other than that, every time – these team every time these teams have had a touchdown in each game, um, the over ten and a half out of the six games has hit four out of the two. I like the number. I'm getting plus points. I don't think this is going to be a defensive matchup. I think they're going to keep this gas to the pedal. You know, like we said in the uh, the last show, you know, all gas, no breaks. And then this game speaks to it. It's the highest total of the week. Makes sense that they come out firing. Um, give me over ten and a half first quarter, plus one fourteen. I like it. I do. I agree. I think this will be a high scoring game. Um, obviously, we've seen that both. We know that both these teams can get after it, especially Miami. Um, so, I mean, the Buffalo's question is: Buffalo. Is they fade right because they just scored seventy? That was my only thought. Like, it's just a fade spot. You know what I mean? Because they just scored 70. So. Yeah. I mean, but they also got some rest deep in that fourth quarter, too. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> and they could have put 100 up. So they could have put some. Up. They left some points on the board. Um, yeah, they did. But, yeah, in this they game, did. once again, this is uh, one of my teaser plays uh, for the team totals. Um, I'm going to go over. The, the line is set at 54 and a half. I'm going to go over yeah. 45, 44 and a half. I'm going to put that with Such that. Such a great play. Uh, with that Atlanta, Atlanta and Jacksonville is under, and um, then you know we'll finish that off with another game when we when we discuss. They're also going to be in my four team teasers. Miami will be, so I get Miami up to fifteen and a half points. Oh, fifteen, yeah. yeah. So it was a thirteen point teaser. So I got them in one of my um, four point teasers, which is a two unit play for me. I got them up to fifteen and a half. Yeah, that's such a such an easy play. This line is really weird. This this line tells me that it, everybody's going to take Miami, and the sharps should be on Buffalo. It's hard to win in Buffalo. I get that, but mm-hmm. man, uh, you know, I don't, I don't. After that performance, man, the best. Like I don't know. That's tough. Even though Buffalo had a really good performance too, it'll be. It should be a good game. It should be a good game. Uh, let's keep the train uh, moving here for my next best bet. Actually, going right down the line here, man. I was very surprised about Cleveland. Cleveland! This is for you! Last week. I thought Cleveland showed up last week, and Cleveland quietly 
is putting together a, a decent um, a decent season here. They are, uh, I believe, they're they're two and one as of right now. Now this is going to be another uh, tough game here, but man, the Ravens, the Ravens have like just bad luck with these injuries. Yeah, bad every luck year. with these injuries every year, man. Like it's just such bad luck with these injuries. I know Edwards is in the protocol as well, and to me, like you. I love Lamar. I think Lamar is such a great talent, and um, uh, hopefully he wins a Super Bowl. He always obviously an MVP, and he just keeps adding to the list of accolades that he already has. But he can only do so much, right? He can't. He can't. I don't think he can beat this Cleveland Browns team running and passing the ball by himself. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, Mark uh, Mark Andrews has been kind of quiet. I know Aguilar had the one good game. Um, who's the other receiver? I forget his name off the top of my head. Uh, what's his name? He's good too. He, they drafted him. Odell? Are we talking about? Um, no, no, Odell. Odell's hurt. Bateman? No, nah, it was another guy. No, no, no. That's one more. They got another uh, cat. Uh, damn, I forget his name. I'll find it. But, um, you know, Zay Cleveland's Flowers? Flowers. There it is. Flowers. There it is. Yeah, Flowers. Um, so the, he has some weapons, but you know, I think, um, he hasn't had that big signature game and he's going to continue to use his legs. I mean, he rushed for over a hundred yards last week, but they plugged in Jerome, um, Ford and it's almost like they didn't lose a beat, but looking at this defense, man, this defense has only given up 55 yards rushing per game, getting given up 190 yards passing and Deshaun is starting to come into form and Cooper had his best game last week yeah. against the Titans. So they play some good AFC teams. They played the Bengals, which is Bengals kind of fell off. We don't know, but they beat up on the Bengals. Now they lost to the Steelers. I think the Steelers were in a good spot in Pittsburgh. So, um, but that was the game that, uh, uh, Chubb got hurt with the injury. So that's a huge deflation, you know, and you're thinking about your man that might not even play again. Before he came in and still ran for 100 yards. Yep. So, um, you know, and then they beat up on the Titans last week. Titans can do nothing against them. Tannehill had 100 yards. Henry had 20 yards. Hopkins had less than 50 yards. They beat up on Tennessee last week. And that's rare. For a t- for a, a Tennessee team to be get beat up like that and dominated like that, so yeah, give me straight man, give me Cleveland minus three. Um, I just don't think the Ravens have enough, and Cleveland's starting to take shape as one of the better teams um, in the AFC, led by that defense with Miles Garrett crossing centers over like <laughs> like we out on the court and getting sacks. So yeah, man, give me Cleveland. Yeah, I'm leaving like- you. Minus I, three. I, I do, I do like that play. I was one actually. I had a circle on the board. Sometimes you just never know what you're gonna get from Baltimore. You you would hope they they wake up here and there, but this was a stay away from me. I do lean Cleveland here. I like them at home. Um, yeah, I like, I like the them way at home. I like All what I've been pal. seeing. Yeah, I like what I've been seeing from them. The way they they stayed, you know, consistent to the run game. They didn't shy away because Nick Chubb was out. I mean, Ford showed that when he came in the game for Nick Chubb in that game that like he can run the football. Hopefully, he can continue that going. Um, yeah, but yeah like I think said, he had 100 yards last week. The anchor is, is really the defense. So, you know, they're able to get after the quarterback. I think they're going to give issues to to Lamar. And um, I do like your play there, man. I would probably just buy a point just to get under that 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 three um, and, and, and get secure that win. But I do like Cleveland here. It might be a parlay piece for me um, could be coming up to the Sunday. Yeah, um, yeah, because Odell ain't playing. Bateman's hurt. Marcus Williams was still out from last week. Kyle Hamilton is on the uh, on the injury report. Gus Edwards had a concussion from last game. Like, you know, and then Cleveland's getting better. They got, you know, they signed Hunt. Mm-hmm. So, um, yep. yeah, I really like Cleveland here in this play. All right. Good play. Let's keep it moving down the slate. I don't know. Uh, did you have any other straight plays? I think my only other straight play is a little bit the four o'clock games. Um, so I'm looking at Kansas City. It's really only three games I looked at all that I really want to focus in on. Kansas City minus nine and a half at New York. 
Okay. Um, yeah. They're also going to be part of my teaser plays too. I just like this game here, Kansas City coming up to New Jersey. I mean, to to New York and playing the Jets. That um, it seems so like there's a lot football. of turmoil in in the, in the New York building. It's unfortunate because I think they had so much hype and so much excitement for Aaron Rodgers to come out here and and give them an opportunity to to win football games. And for him not to even see a series is is pretty sad. And you're seeing the debacle since then. Zach Wilson isn't the guy. And yeah, I don't lost. know if that's pride. Like, I don't know why they won't. They just signed Simeon. Like, that was supposed to do something. Yeah. I, I don't know, you know what, what I mean? they're doing there, but they ain't going to do it this week, whatever's happening. And that's all I'm focused on is the Kansas City Chiefs going in there, catching a rhythm from this past week. Um, I think they still need to make sure they're getting right to offensively in Kansas City, making sure these guys are where they need to be. And mm-hmm. I think this is a big spot for them to play against a tough New York Jets defense. But I just feel like the Jets won't be able to score. So no. even if this game is tight, I just don't see how the Jets score the football um, unless they stick to the run. And Kansas City this this year so far has been pretty good against the run. Bringing back Chandler Jones in that middle as, 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 a, as a wrecking huge. ball is huge for them and their defense. Um, so like I like the nine and a half here. I like, I like Kansas City to win by two to three scores. And um, that clears that nine and a half. So for me, Kansas City goes to New York. The, the weather should be nice there. Be to sling the ball around. Um, I'm sure, be a lot of Kansas City fans in that building too. Because um, I see the New Jersey Jets probably turning on on the Jets right now until they make a change at the quarterback position. So turmoil in the locker room. No faith in the, the players. Don't have faith. The defense is starting is going to start collapsing because they're like, what are we doing out here? I'm not going to be putting my body out here and, and risk injury for this bullshit. And, uh, and so I see Kansas City comes in here and, and, and probably making a statement again to let the coaches know, like, listen, we're not going to play until you make this fucking change. Mm-hmm. I can see that happening. So yeah. Salah, got some, Salah got some situation that he got to figure out. It's unfortunate because they got no money, but yeah. give me Kansas City minus yeah. nine and a half. I like it. I like it. Um. So it was a four o'clock game for me. I think you're. I think you're, first of all, I think your handicap is, is spot on, and um, I think this game could easily be like twenty four to three, if even that. They might shut him out. To be real with you, I think he gets pulled. I'm saying it right now. Wilson gets pulled in this game. He he gets pulled. I don't even know who their backup is, but he gets pulled. And then the questions come: Does he play next game? I mean, let me see. What's the depth chart? Who's behind him? Tim Boy, Tim Boyle, whoever the hell that is. Shit, to be honest, I mean, I would trade that. I would trade Mariota over there to get Zach Wilson. Give me Zach. Give us Zach Wilson as a backup somewhere, and trade Mariota the hell up out of here. Give us a pick. Zach. Zach is just in a bad spot. He just he's in a traditional offense. He's in a fucking. Uh, He's in the what's the ball hack? No, he's not hack good, hack. bro. He's just not he's good. He's not, but we don't ask our quarterback to do much in Philadelphia. You know what I'm saying? Like he can ah, run that. He whoa, run whoa. That. you talking about backup quarterback USA over here, bro? Like, what are we talking about? Who backup? We don't ask team? our quarterback to do much backup. You know how much backup quarterback controversy we've had in this city? You want to bring that bum over here? We got it. We got the same. The same. You got somewhere to go. The you must got somewhere to go here. making them type of takes. The same bum is here. <laughs> Mariota is no different than Zach Wilson. Man, give me Marcus work. over that bum. Get Hell the no. fuck out of here. Hell no. Sometimes you need to change a. Sometimes you need to change the scenery, man. That's a lot of pressure. On I feel thing. you, but you need to change that take. Talk about we gonna need that backup quarterbacks. We don't ask our quarterbacks to do nothing. You're out of your I, mind. I hope Marcus Mariota. There's a statue outside of a backup quarterback. What are we talking about? Nick Foles ain't walking in our building no more. It's Marcus Mariota. We ain't gonna have no statue of Mariota. This ain't of course not. 2015. Motherfucker, we don't got a pimp. His jersey not even in the store. (laughs) Yeah, he just stay away. Yeah, I mean, oh man. Um, all right, no, but I hear you though. I hear you though. All right, my last uh, best bet of the day is, uh, and this is a fade of the Raiders. Uh, with Jimmy Garoppolo, I don't believe he's going to play. I think the line is reflective of that. And honestly, they really weren't that good. And it's the same old talk with Jimmy. Um, looks good. Um, obviously plays well. Has a winning record. But the motherfucker can't stay healthy. 
cannot stay healthy. Um, the backup quarterback is let me bring it up real quick. It's Brian he Hoyer. Was getting, he was getting fucked up that night. He was getting he was getting fucked up. <laughs> Raiders could I mean that fool was on his back hard. It was crazy. So uh now it sucks because Michael Williams got hurt again. He's he's another one who gets hurt a lot. Can't say it. Um, crazy. Torn, torn, ACL. torn ACL. Yep. Yeah. But I like I like I like the Chargers here straight. I think the Chargers win this game pretty handily, either by uh, almost kind of two scores. And that's only because I believe that Garoppolo is not going to play. And if Garoppolo does not play, I think he's probably worth at least a point and a half to almost two. This line gets up to almost seven. Um, I still like it at seven. Once you get over seven and a half over that key number, you want to start re, uh, re-looking at it. But I don't even think there's any props up here yet because they just don't know um, if he's going to play or not. Like I said, from what I can tell, he's pushing to play because obviously they don't want to go one and three, but he's still in concussion protocol, and he did not practice. Max Crosby was limited. So give me the Chargers. Well, no, that's the old San Diego jingle. San Diego Chargers. Give me the Chargers straight, minus five and a half. I'll be looking at some props here. God damn. Somebody pay Keenan Allen 18 catches last week, 200 and something yards. Cooking. Woo. I think Sharp Sharp was on that play last week. No, nah, it was me. It was you. <laughs> yeah, it was me. And it was you. Salute. I knew yeah, somebody it was, was on it. It was me. I will, I will follow that trend this week, too. Yeah. So the way Kellen Moore is using him is like that all go to X guy. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I think Eckler practiced this week, if I'm not mistaken. So he might be back too, which is huge for him. So, uh, you know, Mike Williams is tough. But, I mean, they got – was it Quentin Johnson from TCU? Mm-hmm. Uh, the other receiver. So he should get, you know, some – Palmer. Obviously Palmer's more. There. Palmer. What Palmer? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Palmer. But I think uh, – oh, yeah, I wonder if Palmer will take the other side then. I guess so, yeah. I guess he yeah. would be the other side. Yeah, he would be. He came, in. Palmer. He came in had like seven, six, four or five catches, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, like I said, I think uh, I think this is a good spot, and I think the line is going to shift dramatically once they say that Jimmy Grapple's out. So give me yeah. the Chargers. Yeah, no. Once again, I don't fuck with the Chargers. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't fuck with the Chargers. I just don't fuck with the Chargers. Until – was it Staley? Stanley? Yeah, his Staley. Ass out of here. You can't tell me this man allows. I mean, like, so yeah, pathetic. He's a bad coach. It's just, yeah, it's just pathetic. I mean, you look at it. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't have a feel. Whatsoever Twenty-four the points game. to give up. Twenty-seven points he's given up. Thirty-six points he's given up with that defense too. And and it's like you're a defensive coach. Nah, I'm good. I can't trust yeah. it. So I don't know play on that. If anything, like I said, I will probably look at some of the props, but I'm good on this game. I'm I, this is a no go. I hear you. I hear you. All right. So that was all the straight bets for me. Um, all I have is teasers, and for my teasers, I'm really just double dipping in everything that I already have. All right. Um, I have one more, one more straight play. That's a Monday night. Oh, game. okay. Yeah, bet. Got. I mean, only because of values there. Um, I like the Seattle team coming over here and uh, and beating the Monday Giants. night football. Monday night football, Seattle. Um, it's been a minute since Seattle been on prime time um, on mm. Monday night. So I like Seattle coming over here. The line's a pick. Um, I think it's it's going toward the uh, – you might want to catch it now before it's probably in the minus side. Um, here, I think the Giants was favored. They were. I think yeah, they were uh, it's their favorite here. I don't get it. I mean, I guess because it's West Coast traveling east. Mm-hmm. But it's Monday night, so they still get the extra day. Look at the extra day. That's that's key. Yeah. That's why I yeah, like Seattle key. here. They're the, they're the better team. Uh, they they play better offensively. Their O line, D lines is, is is getting after it. Um, they had that one little hiccup early in the season, um, but I like them here. I just think Giants are just hurt. Don't let that Arizona come back for you. Um, they played with pride. Good good for them. They're an NFL football team. But at the end of the day, <laughs> Seattle. <laughs> got aspirations to make some moves in, into their conference, and they got to win this game. This is a big game for Seattle, believe it or yeah, not. Yeah, I think they get Jamal Adams back in this game, too. It's been a while since he played. Seahawks safety Jamal Adams 
tells Jordan Schultz that he'll be making his return next Monday night, week four, against the Giants. Oh. All right. Yep. I think they, this is they, his comeback game. They did well against – I mean, they're on a two-game win streak, beat Detroit at Detroit, beat Carolina handedly at home. They had a little fluker against the Rams and a 30-13 and to 13 loss. I just think the Giants right now, obviously they got smacked by San Fran and they came back luckily and beat Arizona. And they got bombed against Dallas. What makes me think that they should be a favorite in this game? I don't care if they're home or not. Mm-hmm. Nothing's changed for them. And they'll still be out Barkley. So give me – their old line still shit. So give me yeah. Seattle's defensive line versus the New York Giants' offensive line. Um, and I think Thomas and, is out. And Anthony, a, uh, pick. I already put my. I'll put that money in. That's a unit play for me. Um, and we'll yeah, I like it. yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I think um, Andrew Tom uh, Thomas, their want to say left tackle. I believe he's still questionable. And I don't think Barkley's going to play either. Like you said, Mm-mm. this offense, like it's just proven the wor- the worth of the running backs for certain teams. Um, this offense is shit without him. Mm. They paid Daniel Jones all that goddamn money yep. for nothing. For for nothing. Now, granted, two of the three teams they played against, the Cowboys and the Niners, um, obviously top defenses there. So, um, but they had to come back from. They should very. They very well should be zero and three right now. One hundred percent. They had to come back. What twenty points? And if anything, you could probably look at the over in this game too. I think it'll be some. So it'll be a battle be a little score. bit. Yeah, it'll be some score on Monday night, 40. The line's already shifted in that way. It's one from open at 44 and a half. Now it's at 47. That's a big, big jump. So Does that hopefully you know that the, the Giants are favored? Like, I don't understand. That's just what I'm saying. Some of these lines is weird. Like, why are the Giants favored well, in this game? Yeah, I mean, one is a home game, right? So really you think really every home team's a three-point favorite, quote-unquote, supposedly, if it's supposed to be even yeah, matchup. Yeah. So you're actually – it's really a Seattle line. Um, so it doesn't scare me. No, I mean, what's the max Seattle's going to be? Minus two and a half, three, right? Yeah, I was going to say I would think Seattle would be minus two and a half, minus two. Yeah, so so it'll be minus one by kickoff. Yeah, but I mean, right now it's the Giants' favorite minus one. Yeah, we're also I mean, Wednesday, and we're going to have some late action coming in. You'll see it yeah. move one hundred percent Wednesday. Promise you, it's going to kick no. off by minus ten, if not still a pick. But, yep. Yeah, I like it. And then the rest of my plays are going to be teaser plays, kind of like what we discussed, and we can just run through that real quick if we want to. Yeah, go ahead. Um, right, I'll let so you run with it. We're going we're gonna to go right to it. This is a two-team teaser, seven point. This is going to be a three- to five-unit play. Um, I might double down. I already got three units on it. I'm hoping I don't get fucking bit. Uh, the only question mark I got in between these games is Philadelphia. I know we had a couple people with the flu. Or some sickness and bug that's been going around after this that game in Tampa Bay. So hopefully everybody will be healthy going into Sunday. But I got mm-hmm. Philadelphia uh, seven seven point teaser. We get them down to minus one, and I got Kansas City with that. We talked mm-hmm. about that Kansas City going to the Jets at minus two and a half. That's a three unit play already put in. It could be up to five by Sunday. That's a two teamer. Uh-huh. We're going to do a three team teaser total. I spoke about the majority of them. Um, we talked about Jacksonville's under against Atlanta. Under the line was at 43. We're going under 53. We're going Miami Buffalo over over the 44. The line was set at 54. And then we're going to go Tampa Bay and New Orleans. That line was set at 40. We're going under 50 and a half in that Tampa Bay, New Orleans. You got Jameis Winston's back at quarterback right now. Tampa Bay looked like they struggled offensively. They couldn't do anything against the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't expect them to be able to do too much um, against New Orleans defense either because they're just as stout as the Philadelphia Eagles. And I think New Orleans will be able to keep this, this this game under control. I see this being under 50 points for sure, maybe a 17-14 type of game. That's a three-team teaser total. Then we're going to go two teams. We're going to go two teasers. They're both going to be four-team teaser, 13 points. This is a two-unit play. I got Philadelphia Eagles playing Washington. The line is at minus eight. This is 13 points, so I'm getting up to plus five right there. We're going Kansas City again. We're getting plus three and a half, which is money. Get that hook and that three and a half on that 13 point. Then we're going to go Miami plus 15 and a half. 
against Buffalo. And then we're going to go Arizona to minus one. I'm sorry, San Francisco playing Arizona at home, minus one from 14 points to minus one. That's a two-unit play. I really don't see that losing. I don't see – it would have to be an upset somewhere for this to happen. So um, can it happen? Yes, Dallas was that team last week. I don't yeah. see I, – I think these teams are the real deal. San Fran, Miami, Kansas City, Philadelphia. Those teams you're going to see in the playoffs, they're going to handle business this week against weak opponents, Washington, the Jets. Obviously, Buffalo's tough, but we're getting plus points, and they're going to play Arizona. Mm. The second four-team teaser, 13 point, we're going to go Green Bay. Uh, they're plus one and a half. We're going to Green Bay plus 14 and a half at home, playing Detroit on Thursday night. We're going to go New England plus 20 at Dallas. I like New England's defense. I think they'll be able to stay in this ball game. I even like, I think even like New England at seven. Um, I'm just waiting for that line mm. to kind of move up a little bit more in my favor. If I can get a seven and a half to eight, I'll take them straight up. But I'm definitely taking it plus 20 at Dallas. I know it's supposed to be a bounce back game for Dallas, but Dallas showed a blueprint that they can't stop the run. And one thing New England and, and Bill Belichick will be able to do is control tempo, mm-hmm. run the yep. football, and defense to make some plays. Dallas' red zone offense is garbage. Let me repeat. Garbage. Seattle scores in this game. Too. Uh, yeah, it could be. Yeah, back at Dallas. That would be great. Yeah, that for would sure. be great. Yeah, Seattle playing – um, at New York on Monday night, I'm putting that in there to start my week off at plus 13. No way Seattle yep. lose by more than 13 points. And we're going to smack it again with San Fran, getting them down to a pick at uh, playing Arizona. Don't let last week fool y'all, fellas. San Francisco is the real deal. Yeah. I said that they're the best team in the league, in my opinion. All right. Let me write this all down. So we got Green Bay. New England, Seattle, and San Fran. All right, I like it. I like it. So I have some similar picks here. Um, I might put – I want to get the Vikings in the teaser because I just feel like there's no way they're going to go 0-3, 0-4. Yeah, I really don't. Um, I feel like they won't. But what I'm going to do here is – I, like you said, I'm on every. You should be. We all should be on Philly. Um, and I found it really hard for Philly to lose this game. <laughs> I will be in the building. Um, then you actually kind of talked about this game, but I look at it a little bit differently here. Um, I'm getting Philly. Uh, um, this is a three-team, ten-point teaser. Getting Philly to the plus one and a half side, really for them to win the game. I'm going to tease the Kansas City New York Jets game up and take the under. Okay. No way Case, uh, New York scores more than 14 points in this game. I don't think they score more than 14 points. And I don't think the Chiefs score more than 40 points. That's what it would have to be. It would have to be 40 to, to, to 14 for this not to hit. So give me uh, the, the Chiefs and the Jets. Tease that up to 10 and a half. And then I'm going to uh, marry it with my Monday night game. Give me Seattle to plus 11. Teasing everything up. 10-point teaser. Yeah. Plus one and a half. Sunday night, KC Jets, and then Seattle. I think this is, my a big, this is a big weekend. I, I do. Last weekend, I was I was a little wary. I was. I was like, eh, that's why I only stayed with them two games. And I, unfortunately, the Dallas game was the one that fucking bit. Yeah. But yeah. I, I really like this week. I think the teams that we got are teams that will handle business. Yep, agreed. So my for my second teaser, I'm gonna go. I, I'm gonna go over here of this Miami um, Buffalo game. I'm going to also take. Yeah, I really want to take the Vikings, but I might leave it alone. What do you think about this Denver <laughs> Chicago game, bro? I mean, it's yeah, such a bad game. But, like, I really think Denver's bad, man. I think Chicago might mess around and win this game. Well, we, we wanna, why are we even touch this game? I'm, I'm, I was just ask, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. We, we, ain't talk about it for, we ain't talk about it for a reason. There's no reason why Denver's favored by just giving up 70. Nate, why there's, are we giving this airtime? I'm sorry. 
you're right. All right. So I got the total over <laughs> 54. I'm going to tease that down 13 points. I'm going to take go back to where I was with one of my best bets. I'm going to double dip. I'm taking the Chargers. Going to tease that um, to over uh, plus, I think, what's that? Plus nine? No, no, no. What's that? Plus eight. I'm sorry. Plus eight for them not to lose by a touchdown. Give me San Fran to win the game and give me the Chiefs at minus nine and a half. That is a four team teaser play for me. Super teaser, monster teaser, whatever you want to call it. Um, Dolphins give me over 41. Chargers don't lose by a touchdown to the Raiders. San Fran to win, and then I'm getting plus three and a half with the Chiefs. Love Man, if the, if the Chiefs – like, if the Chiefs lose, then whatever. Just take my money. Right. right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so this this one of weeks is like, bro, all right, just bro. Just take my money. Go. Here you go. Just Arizona, go ahead. You got it. You, own, you, you got this one, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's just one of them things. It's like, all right, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to put my money on games. I'm like, oh, I think because – like. No, I'm going to put it on what I feel is a sure bet, and these are what they mm-hmm. are for me. I agree. I agree. I kind of want to – I could – and and if you don't like that, if you like uh, Didier, you don't trust Staley, you don't like that Chargers bet, go ahead and switch them with the Eagles, which might even be a, even a better-looking bet, which I actually might do myself. Let me just see it real quick. Seeing it, seeing it as part of it. Well, yeah, Eagles plus, yeah, never mind. I'm switching it. <laughs> <laughs> plus five, right? Uh, four and a half. Four, you can't. It's hard. It's hard. You're getting over those those key numbers. Man. Yeah, you, but you can't. It's not. They're not gonna. Like they're just not gonna. They're not gonna lose. And if they lose, it's it's a field goal or some like. I just don't see the Eagles losing at all to the Commanders. They're gonna. They're gonna bomb. I got the Eagles oh, straight. Shit. I forgot to use the commanders. I said the football team. Yeah, you're all good. You're all good. So those are my two teasers. Um, I would have some player props uh, here, but some of them or a lot of them haven't dropped. I'll just check real quick if the Gibbs line has dropped yet. Um, it might come out tomorrow. I just want to double check. See I do have one more nope. player prop and then an under, underdog parlay for value. Yeah, cool, cool. All right, what's the player prop? Um, And, and – Words are sharp. These are auto plays. Um, mm. TJ Watt sack. Marcus um, Michael Parsons sack. Uh, I'm just hitting that on auto uh, for a unit. You know, if I lose, I lose. Or I win, I win. That's just going to be on auto because I think those are the two best defense alignment in football right now, and I think they'll have double digit sacks throughout this season, um, unless barring any type of injury. So. They've been 100% so far. TJ Watt has gotten a sack in every game. And same for Michael Parsons. So we'll keep that going until the wheels fall off. That'll be on autoplay. Yeah, I don't. And for my. Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I was going to say it's not. Um, those props aren't up yet, just yet. And for my underdog parlay value pick. Yeah, let's go. For my bet. Small win big hitters. What's up? Yeah, and they all underdogs. So you know, just sprinkle a little something because it's it's good money on return if it happens. Now you the master in round robins. I think we can throw this into a round robin. I want you to teach me the round robin. I got so you. This is something that we can do for the for a money money line parlay underdog value. This is at mm-hmm. plus five thousand six sixty two. So just for everybody watching, these are just. These are, I'm gonna close the book. Closing the book. These aren't official yes. plays that just, we're gonna put against the number. These are ones that close our play eyes. With. And yeah, if things happen, it happens because we just hoping. So this is a plus <laughs> five thousand six sixty two. I'm yeah. sprinkling a little on it. It's gonna be a little twenty five dollar play for me. You can go as low as five or ten. Twenty five dollars. Oh, I had a good. God. I had a good week last week. You know how we do. Yes, sir. And we're gonna go Green Bay money line mm-hmm. at home. We go on Atlanta money line at plus one thirty eight. Mm, Thirty birds. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Going over the seas, they can run the ball, control the clock. I think there's an opportunity there. We're gonna go Carolina. Oh wow! At home versus the Vikings, 
plus 169. That's where we're getting our money at. Mm. We're going Miami as an underdog in Buffalo, plus 130. Mm-hmm. We Now, you know that can happen. For sure. And we're going Seattle at a pick on Monday night. Like, hey, hey, that's, hey. Five, hey, that's five racks, baby. Hey. That's yeah, five plus, racks. Plus 530. Uh, plus pretty much five to one. Five like I said, for those bets, small win one. big hitters. That's not five to one. $25 bring you back 1300 I like it. Right. I said, that's not five to one, baby. That's 5000 to one. Oh, I'm sorry. 5000 to one. My bad. Yeah. You're right. Absolutely. Almost 50, you know 50 to one, pretty much. 50, one, 50 yeah. to one. Yeah. And, My and bad. you can mix around Robin within that, too, for some value. Um, I just think that's just something that, that can it can happen. I can see it happening. Yeah, no, I Robin happening. might be safer because I don't think they all have to hit, and you still can make nah. a profit. But I think yeah. this can happen, man. Yeah, no, nah, I think the sweat is Carolina, mm-hmm. and probably Falcons. The Jags need to win. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can, but so, I can see it both. I can see it both winning. Yeah, yeah. The the parlays, the things I just want to tell people with parlays. You you got to get you got to you got to get lucky on one. You got to you got to get lucky on one. There's always a sweat. Especially when you start hitting over parlays that are four or five legs, always, always a sweat. And don't get mad because it's the one that just didn't hit for you, and that was where your money was at. You got to know the gamble. This is a true gamble. I call them scratchy lottery tickets because um, that's what you're looking for. You're looking to go to the machine, put in twenty dollars, and that ticket gives you a rack back. That's all it is. And I got um, bit yesterday in a baseball parlay. One team, the last team on the card, of course. Mm-hmm. 16 parlay, they all smack. It was an eight to one. one play, and Texas came up short. Yeah, that's what it is. But but you got to okay. know that's the gamble. That's yeah, the that's gamble. the gamble. It was eight that's to one. Gamble. I said, all right, I'll take it. Oh, I'm sorry, it was 16 to one. 16 to one. Mm, that makes it worse. 16 to one. <laughs> yeah, but I only put a half a unit on it, so it was eight to one. Yeah, I hear. You. All right, I'm going to do a round robin to show people what the round yeah. robin looks like. I mean, all right. So when I do a round robin, I'm I'm sticking with the points. I'm not doing money line round robins, but all my round robins are all typically dogs. Um, because that's I think where you kind of get the value. And we've seen that over the years that sometimes the favorites don't hit. Now week two, I think all favorites crushed, but right back uh was the underdogs and unders that kind of got you back your money um with that. So if I'm looking at this week around Robin, um, looks like this line already came down, right? This was at eight and a half when we started the show. Definitely Miami is in there. Um, ooh. Houston, man. Houston, I just think that D line for St. Steelers is going to be too much, but. Yeah, I was looking at them. They had a good game last game. CJ um, Straub is on that rock. Uh, I like Tampa here. You gotta like Carolina if Andy Dalton's playing. Yeah, but I don't think he is. Mm, so that's the key for my round. I mean, for my parlay. If, if yeah, Andy Dalton's not is. playing, I'm not fucking with my man Bryce. Sorry. Yeah, I think I think Bryce is playing. Bryce is Bryce practice. If Bryce, if Bryce is back, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, Bryce practice. So, um, then I would go. Oof, we're getting getting ugly down here in Detroit. Oh, oh down to that Seattle game. That line moved. Oh, okay. So, yeah, take Seattle. Seattle. I'm trying to think here. Where else would I would go? I want. He's only got there. three. He wants to go with the Bears, dog. Three's not really. You need like five. Yeah, I'm thinking about it, bro. I really am. Oh my God. <laughs> I really am. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm. I'm really thinking about it. Um. You know. Well, I mean, I like to deal with the favorites. The favorites, but um, we can still go kind of short lines, to or good plays that we like. Well, so you, like, you I'm said gonna, you like Cleveland, though. I do like Cleveland. That's a um, short line. It's only minus. That is a short line. Five. Yeah. So I would do Cleveland here. And then I've, I'm really thinking about the Cardinals. Um, 
I think they can kind of keep that game close. I think they still lose by maybe double digits. But Ayuk's hurt. I think um, Debo's hurt. And I ain't going to hold you. I think the Cardinals are covering in every game, bro. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's a good play. 14. 14 is a lot of points. Yeah, 14 is a lot of points. But it's that line sick. is minus 112, though. So I don't know if that's the value you're looking for. Yeah, so Look at that. we're going to run it. We're going to run it. All right. So these are all my, my, my dog plays plus Cleveland. And then, um, you know what? Got five in here. We'll see what this looks like. So what you would do is you do a round robin. Now, what the round robin is, the round robin takes these bets over here. And if you do a two-team uh, round robin, it's going to do every bet is going to run Miami and Tampa, Miami and Seattle, Miami and Cleveland. Miami and the Arizona. And then the next game would be the same, but it wouldn't be Tampa, Miami, because you already got that, but it'd be Tampa and Seattle. Seattle and Cle- I mean, Tampa and Se- uh, Cleveland. Then Tampa and Arizona. So obviously, the more uh, game, the, the more um, teams win for you and cover, obviously, the better you are on your money. And it's not always a big hit. You're going to get those big hits sometimes, but it's always just being positive money. So if I have a ten, a two pick round robin with ten bets out of those five teams, that means I need to pay for every bet. So ten dollars is a hundred dollars. Is a hundred dollar bet, and the payout is three hundred sixty five. But you have to win it all. No, you do not have to win it all. So I could lose two of these teams and hit the other three and still get a payout. A payout, a payout or that payout? No, a payout. So the, so the max, the max, if you hit it all. The max, yeah, this is the max okay. I can win. If you hit Everybody it all. Everybody hits, if I yeah. hit it all. Okay. So it's similar to like 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 the horses, like the ponies, like when you box. You yeah, know, like similar. Four, five horse. And a yeah. Super, got you, okay. Yeah, like a super factor, yeah, exactly. Super factor. But you box it yeah. and you're getting it all. But you, you're yeah, and, you, and it doesn't matter which way they come in as long yep. as they hit. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how the round the round robin works. The way I would do it, short lines and dogs. Right. I wouldn't I wouldn't do any kind of heavy spreads. I was thinking about the Eagles here because I really do like the birds. The line just dropped, and I was thinking about Detroit. So just say we want to add Detroit in there for a round robin. Now you see how the bets jump up for two bets or even your three picks. So say we want to get a little bit. We want to stay within our bankroll and only dropping a unit, no more than two units. So instead of doing 10, uh, 10 just say we do $5. It's so $100 and your total payout is $370. But now the three pick round robin is 20 small three team parlays, pretty much. Mm-hmm. So you see how that dropped up dramatically. Right, there's a big difference here, right? I'm paying sixty-five dollars here to win two seventy-five, but I'm paying my hundred dollars to win seven hundred. Big difference here. But you gotta you gotta hit three small three team parlays. Yeah. So it gets a little bit more harder. Yeah. But your comp your combinations are higher. So. These are ways you can do it. I'll probably play this one since I just have it up. And look for me. I'll stick here five dollars right here. Hundred dollar bet, three pick, round round, okay. round robin parlay. So maybe I'll do that with the um, yeah, I'll do that too. I'm gonna wait till closer to game time to do the round robin. The line yeah. might be a little more. Cool, cool. All right, all right. I think that is all we have for NFL Week Four. Um, once again, you like what you see, you like what you're watching, make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that notification button, make sure you follow us on all social media platforms for the homie. Go Phillies, go Phillies, man. Moss money, go birds, ring the bell. The hunt for red October is on. This is money pop podcast. This is money pop betting. We out of here.